se ne meni plišila. How are you today? Good, and you? Did you have any trouble finding the place? No, I just followed the smell of corporate greed. <laughs> I wouldn't have if you had set the roof on fire like I asked you. No, nah, my pimp, he lives in our neighborhood here. No, no trouble at all. How would you describe yourself? A, a registered sex offender. But you gotta admit, that's better than an unregistered sex offender. Uh, a busty woman trapped in a man's body. Unemployed. <clears throat> uh, you got Well, uh, about two thirds water. Well, I'd like to think I'm a team player who's always willing to learn. What would you say is your greatest strength that you bring to this position? <laughs> Chicks dig me. Come on, give it up, baby. <laughs> I have an iron plate in my head. I have a positive attitude. In contrast, what would you say would be your greatest weakness if you were working for this company? Kryptonite. Redheads. <laughs> I steal office supplies. Well, I've been told I'm a bit of a perfectionist. What's led you to choose this career? Well, the fact that my parents stopped paying the rent. You. <laughs> You're my hero. <laughs> I've worshipped you from afar. Can I touch your hand? <clears throat> or something? Yeah, the ad you put in the paper, it was very persuasive. Well, it's something I've always been interested in. Give me the pen and stop clicking! It's my pen! Give me the, give me the pen! My pen! Give me the pen! What kinds of goals do you have right now for your career? Well, when I was six, I always wanted to be an astronaut. That really hasn't worked out so well. Well, I'm glad you asked. I've always wanted to have a job where I didn't have to wear pants. My parole officer said I shouldn't get cozy here. Ultimately, I'd like to obtain a management position. What kinds of short-term plans do you have in this area? Duh, I'd like to get this stupid job. Shut up, dumbass. I'd like to teach myself to read Japanese. They have better porn. I'd like to enroll in some advanced learning courses before year's end. Okay. Thus far in your career, looks like you've had a lot of work. What would you say has been the most rewarding accomplishment you've experienced? I've discovered a way to scratch my nuts without using my hands. Convincing my girlfriend to get breast implants. <laughs> Being able to afford breast implants? Making my last employer cry. Like a bitch. Opening a condom wrapper with one hand. Baby. <laughs> Bye, Ray.
right in the top 10% of my graduating class. Five years from now, where do you see yourself? Are, are you asking me out? Uh, how long do you think this interview is going to be? I don't know. But I bet evil machines will be ruling the world by then. Behind you. Right there! Look! They can see us! I'd really like to own my own business someday. Let's see. What would you say, out of all this work you've done, has been probably the single most complex thing you've ever had to deal with? Once, I was forced to spin straw into gold. And not gold strands, mind you. Gold bars. Do you have any idea how hard that is? Gold freaking bars! That is without a doubt the stupidest question I've ever heard. Like, I'm really going to answer that truthfully. You, hold on, let me think, let me think. Um, brain surgery! Well, like, uh, in college, I totally had to do this. Like, it was a report or something. There were, there were computers involved. I don't know. It was really hard. I totally failed it. I, man, that sucked. I personally oversaw a 100 server migration. Uh, well, so how'd I do? Well, we'll let you know either way next week. Thank you for applying. So how'd I do? anything um so how'd i do um well we don't have a position for you at this time but if you're interested here's my number oh, sweet. um so how'd i do um Actually, we don't actually work here. <laughs>